I'm not afraid because I love you dearly. Uh, my name's Eli Wolf and I'm from Sydney and here in Toronto and stoked. Um, I've got a new EP which I uh, recorded in Surrey Hills um, at a mate's place and um, we did a tour before we left to come here um, and yeah we're just out here building on the relationships we had uh, built built upon from last year like um, after I played at One Movement Festival the year before that yeah so it's just a growing process and it's um, it's we're honoured to be on the road and going further afield and stuff you know checking it out uh, music's you know it's it crosses all areas, which we've found directly, like, you know, in Australia you can go around and play, everyone speaks English, but uh, we've played in some really whack, far out regions where they don't, you know, go anywhere near English kind of vibe, and, and it's translated beautifully, you know, so it's, um, it's not some, it is, you've got to be aware if you're going to cover your costs, obviously, you don't, we're not, I haven't got a lot of cash, you know, so it's like, um, as long as we can keep our, our paying along the way we're doing and, and, uh, and having fun and writing and stuff, it's, it's, it's a good thing. And these events, bring everybody together and it's amazing because you can just strike up a conversation straight away everyone's so on the on the on the on the pipe you know everyone knows what's going on so um yeah it's it's a it's a growth thing and it's it's awesome man what do you what do you think it means to be an australian in canada it means uh it do, you can sleep anywhere and it's okay <laughs> um it's i look you know um i find it meeting people it's, everyone's the same like Dude, you know, like the food's different. Obviously, the, the history behind the regions and the culture and stuff. Um, but that's the beauty of it. Like you get to meet people and hang out. Like we're living with a, an American family. I recorded a, another EP on the way over, which will be for when we get back. Um, we stopped into LA, um, and I recorded um, four songs in four and mixed them in four days. And we and that got sent over. I'm rambling now, but anyway, uh, those people I met from uh, the year before. You know, it was just like, and we stayed with an American family there, and can stay there now as a guest and they can stay at Adjoin if they're in Australia and, and that's a similar vibe in Montreal and, and also here, you know, so you build friends and stuff. Are you doing a larger tour around? Yeah, uh, we, we, um, we'll do another run up through uh, Montreal and in through to Quebec and up there and we've met some people who can, we can go further afield with sort of out Halifax in the ways, but um, obviously logistically we have to be mindful of our expenses as well and, and the shows we've got um, and then we're going to Germany as well and then Sorry. try a little bit in the UK on the way back because that's the ticket just sort of led us there so we're like okay and then uh, we'll be back for um, uh, Upper Sound Summit and then I'll be on the road with my next EP then I suppose. <laughs> just, just, keep, just keep the ball rolling. Yeah enjoy and um, don't think about it too much right. as well as um, just think about it heaps. <laughs> so how do you make, I mean you, you, you talk about you know the expenses of it all. How do you make this happen financially two years in a row? Um, by, by playing um, and um, and we had a, a few lucky things as well like um, uh, one track got onto Futurama um, which was completely outside of the the vibe of what we you know it was an extra thing that you just can't count on but if it happens it's it's gold so that um, helped but we, we did a really successful uh, around Australia tour the year before as well which um, paid for my album and that was from playing. So playing and merch, and I do my own sketches, and everyone makes it. You make your stuff and you sell it, and you make a dollar from the shows. And um, and if anything else lays on top, you got survival mode, and then you pick some stuff and you go, you put it back like the squirrels here, you know, put them, <laughs> put it back in your backpack and so. Yeah, anyways. Today we're celebrating the uh, the tenth birthday of uh, the Aussie barbecue. It's the tenth year of it. Wow. What's um What's your understanding of the Aussie barbecue as sort of touring? Um, well, you meet some great people from Australia that you would never have met in Australia um, for one thing and bands as well like um, you met some amazing artists and that are in your country but you never you only see their posters and stuff so that's a beautiful thing and it, it brings us all together and shares that in our own journey because we're all on the same one you know um, yeah you meet people like Millie and, and, and Esty and um, the organisers as well and you get to see it is a, a community thing you know as well like on that level so